Uh, you mentioned, uh, mentioned the word time there. It was all about time at the end. And the simple question was, when there was four minutes added time given, how come they scored? That goal was scored 95 minutes and 27 seconds. Well, there was the added time, four minutes, as I said. Then we timed uh, Bellamy's celebration from when the ball crossed the line with his goal to when the kickoff happened after it, 56 seconds. And then for the substitution, the ref has to allow 30. So let's add all that up. As a Mark Hughes, who's probably failing to do accurately, but there's 90 minutes plus 4 plus 56 plus 30, adds up to 95 <laughs> and 26, and the goal was scored at 95 and 27. So one second out. I mean, the ref wasn't a mile away. Mark Hughes, that, Mark Hughes had a point then. Yeah, <laughs> the one second. But <laughs> Lee has always been great with figures. I, mean, he's, he's, <laughs> I blame Lee for that. Out. But but it's frustrating though, isn't it? I mean, yeah. Of course, if you take it right yeah. down to the watch, it is frustrating. But at the end of the day, if you don't defend well, yeah. you're going to give goals away. Okay. I mean, just we don't want to sully this uh, this magnificent uh, football occasion with a couple of bad bits, if you like. But the thoroughly unedifying scenes uh, after Bellamy had scored, fan runs onto the pitch, skillfully rugby tattled by the stewards, and uh, they lift him up, only for Bellamy to stroll over and give him what's that? A cough, a slap. Uh, Certainly, uh, kind he of not quite. He doesn't need to go anywhere near the really He doesn't. Mark Hughes has defended him, saying Brian Clough did something once and he was lord like that and he was lord in a national hero. You see, he doubts it would be the same with Craig. So, a proper defence of him. And uh, also, sadly, the City substitute Garrido here at half time seemed to be a hit by a coin from the home crowd. Uh, he's uh, not, uh, not injured, mercifully. So, we'll hear 